Welcome to GPS Map, GPS Map Pro. We can see already the blue arrow blinking on the map indicating my location. I can zoom in and out with the scroll bar above. Turn on or off the satellite, the traffic. If I have a current place mark I can focus on it with the multicolored map button and I can go back to my location with the blue button. If I use the first menu item, menu, my place, then I can click yes to add my place mark and it will already have all the default information filled in for me including a geocoded address and an altitude from Google. So you do need to have internet access or 3G, 4G wireless service for this to work. So now we see the marker for my place map there. If I go to menu place marks, I'll be able to see that place mark. If I tap on it, I'll be able to choose from a menu of 11 different things to do with it. Edit it, delete it, focus on that place mark. Use it as a mock location, search nearby, navigate to it, show the route from my location to it, use Google Street View, view the image, zoom in close, zoom out far, let's zoom close. With menu place marks, if you wanted to, it's kind of hard, you could go to menu add place mark and manually provide the details of a place mark. I'm just going to cancel out of doing that. And cancel and go back. With menu search I can type in something like a full address, uh, a landmark name, or some other prominent name like name of an airport LAX and go search for that I could also enter a latitude, comma, longitude. If I get some kind of search result, tapping on it will let me go use that as a place mark. And so now it'll zoom to that location. If I go to Menu, Images, you can see why it's using that image as the default marker. I could change to a different default marker. So now new place marks will automatically default to that marker. I can also go import image and take a photo, use the gallery, browse to an image, and go find the folder which GPS map on your SD card is where it expects it. Select one image, click OK. It then will go view that image show you the latitude, longitude if available, the date and time, and address if available. You can slide the bar to get a larger preview of the image. If it has GPS information you can import the image and make it a place mark. Or you can just import an image. I'm going to go view that. So I'll just go back and now you see the map has scrolled to that location. If I go to menu markers, now I see the different markers that I've been making. The two that I use with the GPS 5 icon marker. Uh, the one now with the GPS 4. If I uncheck a box, go back that marker will not be visible on the map nor will it be visible in the place mark list. If I go back to menu markers I could also use the red X to delete that marker or the big red X to delete them all. The all or none button will select or check or uncheck all or none of the place marks for you. To wrap things up under menu more you will also find a compass mode, the ability to view a layers window which 
toggles on different layers uh, export import place marks as well as manage your database view copyright information set your preferences go to the systems location settings or quit the application thank you for this quick tour of GPS map I hope you like it see you next time